Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Attempster. Today I'm going to be going over part 10 in the Project FPS tutorial series. Now, in the last part, we went ahead and we got rid of some bugs. I think there were the uh, the armature here was sort of glitching out and being invisible at times. And we also got rid of the parenting bug. And we also added in uh, player movements. Well, so he can move around like so, and we added in a animation for the camera to bob up and down as the player is walking. So if you haven't already, go ahead and check out part 9, so you'll be up to date. But apart from that, we'll be getting straight on into this tutorial. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to be covering getting running going, as this was something that everyone seemed to ask for, why is there no running in the demo? So what we're going to be doing is adding in running in this tutorial, and then if we have some time, we might go over getting the shooting animations for the weapons going as well. So the first thing I'm going to do, then what we're going to do here is um, well, we're going to select our player collision and then here we'll go to keyboard, type in shift and then here we'll select left shift. That can be on true like that and then here we'll add an and, join this up and then join W up as well. So we have to be pressing both W and Shift uh, to trigger sprinting. So then on this side we'll add some motion and join those two up. Now keep in mind this can't be character motion. The reason for that is uh, for some reason character because it's been so simplified it doesn't like you pressing, well having more than one sort of velocity in one direction at one time. What that basically means is it doesn't allow us to have going forward slowly and going forward fast. Um, just because it's character motion, it just doesn't like you doing that. So to allow us to almost blend the motions together, we have to use simple motion for the sprinting. Now what you could also do is just use simple motion for all of them. Uh, and that would sort of get rid of that problem. If I press P here, you can sort of see what I mean. Um, you can only go in one direction. Uh, I'm pressing three keys at the moment and I'm only going in one direction. So none of the movement is blended together as it usually is with simple motion. So either way, that's what I'll be using for sprint. So in here, I'm going to type in negative 0.24. This is double uh, just the normal walking speed. Again, if that's maybe a bit too fast, can just change it to something a bit less, maybe 0.22 or maybe just 0.2. Um, you'll have to experiment, see what works for you. So we'll minimize all of those. Once we've got those sorted, now we just need a animation for the camera. So we can't have a walking animation if you're sprinting. That just doesn't really make sense. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click the plus. And before I do that, make sure you're in dope sheet. Then we'll click the plus here and we'll delete walk and type in running oh, running anim and then delete the dot oh oh one at the end alright and then click the plus here I mean not the plus the F to save it twice then what we'll do is A to deselect A to select everything and in here we're going to have to shorten this animation so it plays faster so I'm going to press SX and scale it on the x-axis and um, I'm gonna just try 30 just for now so SX and I think it's 0.75 hang on I'll try that SX 0.75 yep there we go otherwise we can always make it smaller again if need be so down here under the eyes I'm gonna add another action this one I'm gonna call walking and then I'll minimize that this one over here will also be loop end and we'll call this one running so what we'll do also here is under the animation settings I'm going to type in running anim for running animation and this ends at frame 30 because we just scaled it down uh, I'll give it some blending and then also the next part here is important the priority uh, this basically means which animation will play if uh, both of them are meant to be playing at the same time. So if you notice, here we have uh, our walking animation, but if the player is pressing W and the player is running, then both of the animations will be trying to play at the same time. So what we have to do to fix that 
is set the priority here to 2 and set this one to 1. So this one will go first and then if the play is not running then this one will play. Alright so join this one up to the last AND controller then minimize those and over here we'll also uh, this property here to make sure control is equal to true we'll join that up to the running as well. So now if we press 0 and uh, go over into texture view and press P let him reload and you can see walk press shift and there we go back to normal so shift makes the uh, camera bobbing faster uh, if that's not fast enough you can obviously scale down the animation but I think for me that should be good now you'll notice some sort of stuttering if you sort of tap shift all the time so we're gonna get rid of that with some animation blending so to do that we're gonna go layer one for both of these and then we'll give it however much we want so how much of the previous layer to blend into this one let's just say 0.5 for now so what that's gonna do is it will smooth out uh, if you tap shift all the time as you can see oh I think from stopping and starting doesn't work so well so what we might also do is turn off continue here on both of those so we'll give that a try now and tapping shift and that seems to look good alright so I'm happy with that so what I can do now is minimize both of those then what we're going to do is, now we have that sorted, I might start getting the shooting animations going for the weapons. So what I'm going to do is select the rig here, go to, before we go to pose mode, actually go to layer 2, then we'll need to select our gun, all the pieces, uh, this is going to be our primary weapon first, so then we'll press M and move it to layer 1. Go along to layer 1, and we're going to have to do the same thing we do every time so select the rig and we're going to have to change this to M24 change so it's just on the starting frame here then what we want to do is go into pose mode uh, press alt R to get rid of the rotation back to object mode then select the empty here or the gun spawn shift S cursor to selected then select the gun, shift S, selection to cursor, and then hold down shift, select the gun spawn, and press control P, and parent. So what we are going to do now is we'll set up the shooting animations for our gun here. So basically when the player is shooting, this is obviously going to be automatic fire for the primary weapon. So as you can see here, every five logic ticks, uh, it will send out a pulse and the player will shoot. Now what we need to do whenever that sends out a pulse is play a shooting animation. So to do that I'm going to select my, not my gun, I want to select my rig, press the plus to make a new animation, I'm going to call this M24 recoil, then enter and select the F here to save it twice. Now we don't need frame 20 so go to frame 20, press T to open this toolbar, go to animation and remove alright so we only have frame 0 here now because this is set to 5 I'm gonna have my shooting animation uh, be 5 frames long what we might need to do though is cut it down to 4 because uh, frame 0 will be 1 frame so there will be 1, 2, 3, 4 and then 5 here so we have four frames to play our shooting animation in. The reason we're making it so short is that when the player holds down the trigger, then we won't have any animation glitches where the animations are sort of piling on top of each other. So what I'm going to do on frame four is go over to pose mode, select record down here, go to location rotation, and then one thing we have to do, well, almost remember is that on frame 4 this actually has to be the same as frame 0 as in it's restarting all the time so I'm gonna go to frame 0 press A to deselect, A to select everything control K and then shift D G X and we're gonna move it 4 there we go so to frame 4 alright so shouldn't look any different 
Now what we need to do is on frame 1 we need to have the recoil so the gun is moved back and then between frame 1 and frame 4 the player will be pushing the gun back to the original position. We're well, obviously going to select both hand parts and the gun spawn. Make sure they're all moving then we're going to press uh, numpad 0 see what we're doing and press G X and move it along the X axis. I'm going to move it around maybe something like that. You don't want too much because the animation is so short and happening so quickly but you don't want too little again either so I think something like that should be fine. Uh, if you want a preview what it's sort of like you can change the end here to 4 and then if we press play that's sort of what it's going to look like. So if you're happy with that or you want to add some other movement feel free to do so. Again frame 1 is the original recoil so maybe what I might do is move it up a bit as well on frame 1. Right so that is the shooting animation done for the M24. So what I'm going to do here is add an action and this here is going to be M24 underscore recoil. Enter and then in here we'll type in M24 and choose recoil. Now there's a start of 0 end frame 4 and we'll give it some blending. What I might do is add a end controller here, join this one up here and join this up here. Alright so uh, I'm going to set that to 1 as well and minimize all of those. Then also one more thing we're going to do is we will animate this clip here. Uh, so this one right here, if we can select it, we also want that to be going uh, backwards and forwards while the player is shooting. So what I might do is uh, on frame 0 press I to insert location rotation and then we'll go along to well, frame 1 and then press G, X, and X again, nope, G, Y, and Y again. So double tap Y, and then we're going to move it down all the way back here. Then, uh, yeah, that's fine. Now we just need to duplicate frame 1, or frame 0, and push that up to frame 4. So A to deselect, control K, and then shift D, G, X, 4. Alright, so now that should move back and forwards as well. Okay, so that is sorted. Now what we're going to do is instead of clip action, we're going to call this one, uh, well, recoil. So M24 clip recoil. Then we'll select the F here. And then what we'll do is on the clip add an action, M24 clip recoil. There we go. And then in here, we are going to start on frame 0 and at frame 4. Alright, so minimize that. Then we might actually just call this clip recoil. And we'll give it some blending. There we go. Then I'm going to go into wireframe, hold down shift, and select the empty, wherever that is. So this one here. And then I'm going to join this up to the shooting as well. So I think this one here. Turn that up there, and now what we'll do is that should be finished, so we can select this gun, press Alt P, and clear parents. Then we'll move that over here, no we won't, turn off record, then move it, uh, Z to go into wireframe, select all the parts, M, and move to layer 2. Go ahead to layer 2, and we'll select the pistol, and all of those parts, then M, move to layer 1, and then what I'm going to do is uh, same thing as last time so select the rig instead of M24 we want to have a Glock change then we'll click the plus and we'll rename this to Glock recoil recoil and then delete the dot one alright click the F here to save it twice and again we don't need this last frame here so we can go ahead to frame 20 go to uh, well select everything go to keyframes under tools and then remove keyframe then what we're gonna do is go back to frame 0 
and then here we're going to uh, first of all select the gun bone here then press alt R get rid of the rotation back to object mode select the main body of the gun hold down oh no nope, select the gun spawn shift S cursor to selected then select the main body of the gun shift S selection to cursor hold down shift and parent it to the gun spawn alright so now what we can do is add in our recoil so I'm going to select the rig again and go over to pose mode and numpad 0 just like we did last time so this depends on how fast the player can click rather than an automatic setting like for the last one it was something like every six frames was like the very fastest that was just purely pressing the mouse button and doing nothing else so I'm going to give it six frames which is up to frame five for uh, this animation just purely because it's not being sort of automatically done all the time then what I'm going to do is frame zero as you can see here that means we have until frame five to do the recoil animation so go to frame zero A to D select control K select all of these shift D G X and then five so including frame zero that is six frames obviously so then again we'll go to frame one so I'm gonna select the gun bone as we have here hold down shift select both of the arms so it moves then I'm going to press RY to rotate it up bring it towards the player a little bit and uh, yeah as you can see just sort of move it up like that so I'm happy with that uh, I didn't have record on I think we'll just leave it off and press I um, so if you have location rotation set there, that should add in some keyframes for you right there. So I'm happy with that. So now we can Glock recoil, that should be fine. Again, if you wanted to, I guess we may as well just animate this top part. So we're going to go again to frame zero. Uh, we're going to press I, making sure you have location rotation here. Uh, Glock top and then recoil instead of action select the F to double save and then go to frame 5 and we have to duplicate this so shift D G X 5 enter go to frame 1 so somewhere around here and then G and double tap Y nope G and double tap X nope G and double tap Z move it back so something like that, uh, maybe a little bit further as well. So double tap Z again and just bring it back. If you wanted to, you could do it all the way back here. Maybe we'll just say something like that. All right. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. So I insert again. So now on here, clock top, we'll add a uh, clock top recoil ends at frame 5 and we'll give it some blending then what I'm going to do is select the armature here play a rig add an action and this is going to be a Glock recoil underscore recoil and then in here we'll choose Glock recoil there we go so 0 and this one finishes at 5 also set that to 1 Alright, so I think that should be the majority of that done. We're going to quickly set this back to object. Uh, because we're finished with this now, we can press Alt P, get rid of the parent, make sure record is off, move it over here, set to go into wireframe, select all the parts, and then M and move to layer 2. Now, also for the recoil animations down here, I'm going to turn off continue uh, for both of those and then also over on layer 2 we might do it for these extra parts as well so turn off recoil there and the top part here turn off uh, well continue there as well so there we go uh, I think we got running and the both of the animations for shooting sorted out so either way that's the end of the tutorial hope you enjoyed it if you did be sure to leave a like comment or share all of that stuff is greatly appreciated next tutorial we'll be going over shooting and reducing the ammo and uh, yeah getting all of that good stuff working with a python script but either way hope you enjoyed the tutorial have an awesome week and I'll see you guys in the next video